Open world games are some of the most unique and beautiful in the land of gaming, and you can easily sink hundreds of hours into these huge experiences. Game Pass has so many games on offer, but open world games are certainly one area that is plentiful within the service. That is why today I will be narrowing down the 20 best open world games that you can play right now on Xbox Game Pass in 2023 and into 2024. My name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation, subscribe for more Xbox content every single single day and let's dive right into these expansive new worlds. Up first we have a game that entered the Game Pass library for Xbox consoles this year and that is the awesome open world survival juggernaut known as Valheim. If you don't know what Valheim is then you might have been living under a rock as this was one of the biggest indie darlings of 2021. This is a brutal exploration and survival game where you and up to nine other players will trek and survive a procedurally generated purgatory inspired by stories of Viking culture. There is so much to do in this game from building, battling multiple different types of enemies and conquering your way towards Odin's patronage. This game is utterly excellent and words do not do this game justice. Now if you're a fan of over the top visuals, insane parkour and outrageous quotes then you need to play the Xbox exclusive known as Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive was the last game that was developed on Xbox consoles by Insomniac and wow did they do an awesome job with the parkour and combat in this entry. In this game, the world has collapsed and humans have become mutants due to the consumption of an energy drink. The story is absolutely outlandish and with the comic book aesthetic making explosions appear with words within, it's one of the most unique looking games available on any console. If you love fast paced combat and over the top humour in a beautiful world, you will love this entry. Well, one game that is getting an update and DLC to this day is the mammoth game known as Skyrim. I don't think it would be wise to do an open world list without this game, especially as it cemented the open world genre in a whole new way and really introduced many to the Elder Scrolls franchise for the very first time. The beautiful world of Skyrim still looks great today, especially since the next gen update that happened not too long ago. I am sure that you have probably played this already, however if you haven't, you need to give this game a go, especially as it's got in-depth RPG elements, hundreds of hours of content and truly one of the best worlds available on any console. With the GT GTA 6 trailer now out in the wild, we have to include one of the biggest entries on this list and that is the industry juggernaut Grand Theft Auto 5. We can quite easily say that this is the most recognisable franchise in gaming history and the location of Los Santos is one of that any gamer and non-gamer alike will recognise. With a fantastic story following protagonist Michael, Franklin and Trevor and then a vast multiplayer suite that has been expanded with tons of DLC and updates, it is easy to see why this is one of the best open world games ever made. If you haven't played it yet, then certainly give it a go before GTA 6 releases sometime in 2025. If you want to jet off into space and land on any planet that you like without any loading screens, then No Man's Sky is the game for you. The comeback of this video game by Hello Games is absolutely outstanding and we have to give them huge praise for sticking to their guns and making it into the game we know and love today. With over a million planets to explore, a massive amount of quests, and hundreds of ships to pilot, you will never want to put the game down, especially with the constant great updates. I only started playing this game myself within the past year, and I always come back to this world due to how expansive and awesome it can get. If you weren't a fan of Starfield's loading screens, then give No Man's Sky a go for the seamless interplanetary exploration. I look back at 2022 and realise, damn, it was a pretty bleak year for Xbox exclusives compared to the previous years, but we still got one of my favourite titles of that year. Yeah. Grounded finally released with its 1.0 update, bringing with it a fantastic story and a boatload of content. This game has officially made me terrified of spiders, but playing alongside my mates and seeing us get spawned by critters was absolutely hilarious. If you love exploring and crafting with friends in a Honey I Shrunk the Kids setting, then this is the one for you. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is the largest Assassin's Creed game available on Game Pass, and even with that size, the game has tons of content and a great story to jump into. You will take control of Alexios or Cassandra as they have both fled Sparta and joined the fight between their homeland and Athens as a mercenary. The world of Greece has been expertly recreated with precision and includes lush vibrant forests of volcanic islands and bustling cities all amongst the treacherous Aegean Sea. Personally I found myself not fast travelling as often in this game, taking in the views from the highest towers and even whilst navigating the high seas on your own ship. I cannot recommend Odyssey enough but be prepared to sink in a lot of 
of hours just to complete this game's story. Now, we all love jetting away on holiday, and it's astonishing to see the view from outside of the windows when you're up in the air. Well, Flight Simulator arrived onto the Xbox Series consoles within its launch year, and is a masterpiece visually and technologically. We are expecting Flight Simulator 2024 next year, but in the meantime you can choose to fly in a multitude of different planes across a full scale and beautifully rendered Earth right now. This game can be as easy or as complex as you like, and it's a truly a work of art by Asobo Studios. If you love zombie games, then one Xbox exclusive open world game you need to play right now is the excellently crafted horror survival State of Decay 2. As stated, this is an open world survival fantasy game set just after the zombie apocalypse where your small community of survivors seek to rebuild a corner of civilization. You will decide on who to recruit in your team, where to settle your community, how to fortify and upgrade your base, and then when it's time to move to greener pastures. The team behind State of Decay 2 have recently provided us with the Juggernaut edition, and this adds a ton of new content and improvements for veteran and new players alike. Best of all, this update is free and an automatic upgrade for all Xbox Game Pass members, so definitely give it a go right away. Before we dive into the remaining games, consider subscribing for more Xbox content every single day, as over 90% of you have not subscribed to this fast-growing Xbox channel. Also, let me know in the comments below what your favourite open world game is. Thank you again for your continued support, and let's dive into the remaining games. I think this next game was one that was inevitably going to be on this list, and that is none other than Minecraft. Now, this is one of the most popular games ever made, and even though there is more marketing directed towards the younger crowd, there is certainly a hardcore audience no matter your age. This game lets you loose in a massive, randomly generated world where you must survive using the elements and the tools around you. I think it's quite easy for a lot of people to negate Minecraft for its simplistic nature, but there is nothing better than making your own house, alone or with friends, and sit back and see your works of art. It's very strange to now hear that this game is over 10 years old at this point, especially as someone who played it back in its alpha stage all those years ago. Ubisoft does flirt with the open world genre a lot, and their GTA competitor was a great game with its own unique elements. Watch Dogs 2 was a really good sequel to the original entry and really provided some fantastic gameplay elements in a take on San Francisco that we have not yet seen before. In this game you will play as Marcus, who is a brilliant young hacker, and you will join a notorious hacker group known as DeadSec. The gameplay in this open world is fantastic, especially with the implementation of the hacker tech. Being able to not only hack into cameras and buildings, also drive cars and hack enemy equipment, it works incredibly well within this deep world. I heavily recommend that you play this game solely for the story, but also those amazing gameplay mechanics. Now, we have probably two of the best racing arcade games ever made, and that is Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Horizon 4. I had to put both of these under the list as one game, as both are phenomenal games in their own right. I mean, who doesn't love driving over the vast expanse of Mexico or Great Britain in the car of your dreams? The games have been out for some while now and got glowing reviews for their outstanding visuals, great driving mechanics, and incredibly fun gameplay loops. With the addition of the Hot Wheels DLC for Forza Horizon 5 and the LEGO DLC for Forza Horizon 4, we have been given some entirely new playgrounds to explore, and they certainly don't disappoint. If you love racing of the arcadey variety, then these are some, or if not the best, racing games you can play to this day. We now have a pretty awesome game that I've been addicted to lately, and have been watching many content creators in this space. If you love pirate and causing mayhem in large open worlds of ships and islands, then Sea of Thieves is a game that you will need to play. Coming from Rare, the masterminds behind the Banjo-Kazooie franchise, this game is a unique one-of-a-kind pirate experience with the best implementation of a PvE and PvP world that I've ever seen. With a multitude of quests, ship battling and grog drinking, you should definitely set sail on the Sea of Thieves. The open world is still mind-blowing to this day, and it easily has the best water physics ever made. If you don't believe me, then dive into this game and you will be absolutely stunned. Batman Arkham Knight is one of my favourite games from 2015, and the fact that they put this on Game Pass is still phenomenal and a game that you will need to play. This was easily Rocksteady at their best, with the highly anticipated addition of the legendary Batman 
Batmobile, combined with the acclaimed gameplay of the Arkham series, it was the complete Batman experience to tear through the streets and soar across the skyline of the entirety of Gotham City. The game really still does hold up to this day and looks absolutely stunning, so I definitely recommend that you give it a go, especially if you're a Batman fan. Now, one game arriving into Game Pass on the 14th of this month is the excellent Far Cry 6. I believe many or most gamers know about the Far Cry franchise by now, and this journey is no different as you're dropped into the world of Yara, which is a tropical paradise that is frozen in time due to the dictatorship of Anton Castillo. You will play as the main protagonist Danny, who is a local Yaren, and is tasked with fighting in the revolution to take down this dictator and liberate Yara. It has all the things you come to expect in a Far Cry game, from a beautiful open world with dense forests and cities, to a multitude of weapons, vehicles, and special abilities at your fingertips. Personally, for me, this was not the best Far Cry story by any means, but the open world and new weapons were some of the best that I've ever seen in the series. One game that always goes under the radar compared to its third installment is Just Cause 4. You will dive into an exhilarating adventure with Just Cause 4, where limitless creativity meets explosive action. You can unleash chaos in a massive open world playground, challenging you to defy gravity, orchestrate destruction, and liberate an oppressed nation. There is a massive amount of freedom where you'll wield a vast arsenal of weapons and gadgets, all against a backdrop of stunning landscapes and dynamic weather. Whether you're parachuting into the fray, piloting jets, or grappling across towering structures, Just Cause 4 delivers a sandbox of pure, unadulterated fun. This is one game that I've always highly recommended to any new Game Pass owner, especially if you haven't experienced the chaos that ensues. Now, if you're like me, you may have had a hankering at times for a tactical shooter, and there have been many times that I was looking forward to a new SOCOM experience or a Rainbow Six inspired one. With that, I was so happy when we finally had Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands arrive onto Game Pass. This game takes the tactical nature of the old Tom Clancy games, but drops new players into a large expansive map with a great story and with many missions to complete. You could choose to tackle this open world with up to three other players, or you can use the great AI system that's in place to take down enemies in synchronization. Ubisoft really did wonders with this entry, and many are still playing to this day due to its great combat, gorgeous biomes, and fantastic exploration. It's well worth jumping into this massive world if you haven't already, especially for some tactical and gripping military gameplay. Like a Dragon Ishin takes the widely popular Yakuza series, but is now recasting the character Characters in a samurai era story that takes place in the mid to late 1800s. This is actually a game that came out back in 2014, but they've remade it and recast several of the people for having characters in more recent Yakuza games. With this release, we saw a bump in the new current gen visuals, and they look as good as any current Yakuza game, and it's utterly fantastic. This is a game you need to play if you love the Yakuza franchise, or want to jump into some fantastic Japanese stories and gorgeous open worlds. Garfield is an open world RPG where you aren't just free to explore a sprawling continent, but an entire universe. You'll be piloting a ship of your own design, and you'll be able to go between so many planets and define your place in the stars. If you're a fan of games like Skyrim and Fallout, and you love those open-ended designs and open-world games, then you'll love Starfield, especially with its expansive freeform approach to character building, and one of the best stories in a Bethesda game to date. This is one of the prettiest games that Bethesda have ever made, and there's definitely some screen gap moments, especially when you're flying through the atmosphere and seeing the moons off in the distance. The big issue with Starfield though is the amount of loading screens, but seeing past this you get an engrossing RPG experience with more depth than any other Bethesda title. One game that I cannot believe is over 10 years old now, but got a console release back in 2019, is the hardcore survival game, DayZ. There are absolutely no map markers, daily quests or scoreboards to help you create your own story. There is only a beautiful map which is 230 30 square kilometers of post-Soviet country that was struck by an unknown virus which turned the majority of its population into raging infected. There are also up to 60 other players struggling to survive by any means necessary at any given time on the same server. The world is just so expansive and you'll have to scavenge for any resource possible, but it doesn't make it hard enough, you're also threatened with permadeath. It is a very hardcore experience, so when jumping in, make sure to have friends to help you or go to some smaller towns. What is your favorite open world game? Let me know in the comments below. Please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Xbox content every single day. Whilst here, check out the video on screen now for the 20 best FPS games that you can play right now on Xbox Game Pass.